Hey, how's it going, everyone? It's uh, Andrew Nakis here with another 360 user experience Unity VR tutorial. And today I'm going to be taking a deep dive into the GVR Audio Spatializer plugin. Um, and what this is, is this is an, a, a plugin uh, aspect of the GVR SDK that you can implement into your Unity apps and games or any GVR apps and games in order to provide 3D sound. And from a user experience perspective, this is one of the easiest ways to add an extra layer of immersion to your apps, as well as um, utilize new cues and ways to guide the viewer to look in specific directions. Um, so I guess just jumping into it, right above you there's um, Google Chrome, or, uh, Firefox browser that has the spatial audio page loaded up. Um, and it kind of just briefly goes over what we're going to be doing today. Um, and so in Unity, I actually just have the standard GVR audio or GVR demo scene loaded up. And you click on the cube and it teleports around. And actually, a lot of this scene is actually set up for um, Google uh, Audio Spatializer. But they actually, there's one thing that they don't do that's like an absolutely required thing. Actually, that's why there's no sound when I play. Um, and so we need to go into the edit menu, or project settings, audio. And this is um, actually in the audio manager in the inspector. We now need to click on spatializer plugin, GVR audio spatializer. And this is very much required in order to set up audio in the scene. Um, the other steps, which are actually already in the demo scene, is uh, adding a GVR audio listener to the main camera, um, which has the audio listener component, which allows you to listen for GVR uh, spatialized audio. And then in actually the cube, which is going to be making the sound, um, normally audio is played with an audio source. Um, and the GVR audio source is virtually identical to the audio source component but it just has spatializer sound. So now, when we click play, we get spatialized sound. And so, depending on where I click on things, the left and right channels, if it's farther away, it's gonna be uh, quieter. And you can use this as like a sense of direction to like understand where these objects are. Um, this is a very basic sample, um, but after once we incorporate those, you know, simple things, which are actually located in just the, the script's audio folder, um, the audio listener, and then the audio uh, source, um, there's actually one other really useful tool to add an extra la extra level of immersion, and I haven't seen this utilized too well in any games or apps, but I think there's a huge potential for it. And actually, it's this extra addition called the GVR Audio Room. And what this is in the hierarchy is uh, it's a component where you can actually go in and these yellow bars in the scene view represent the room's size now, and it uh, adapts audio to fit inside that room. So I can go in and actually select surface materials, which would echo and reverb or depending on how soft or hard they are, um, give you like an accurate sound. So if I did like a complete grass room, the sounds would be muted and audio wouldn't, wouldn't uh, echo that much versus like a concrete room, which would be like a lot different. So that's the, the grass room. Um, and let's I'm going to switch it to painted concrete. And I don't know if this is going to make a huge difference just in the editor uh, in this 360 video, um, but you know it's certainly worth a try. I think overall, like this is a really interesting kind of extra level where like compared to PC VR, uh, mobile is very limited. Um, in terms of like doesn't have positional tracking, you don't really have good controllers yet. Um, and so like 
the audio spatializer plugin is like a really good way to add an extra layer of immersion and uh, kind of surprise and delight users who play your games with headphones. Um, and so I don't know if you can hear a difference right now, but it might be different than the uh, earlier brass. Cool. So that's like the basis of the GVR audio spatializer plugin. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, definitely excited for the potential of mobile VR with uh, such powerful SDKs. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Hopefully this was helpful. Peace.